If you were one of hundreds of thousands of people experiencing sticker shock from an increase in your homeowner's insurance, News for Jax has valuable information on what you can do about it now. Tarek has been following these increases and what's behind them. He also has some advice from experts. Tarek. Well, you know, home insurance rates have skyrocketed due to increased litigation, a spike in claims from hurricanes dating back years, and rising costs for insurance companies. Now, as a result, premium prices have risen, in some cases, more than 35%. And if this is happening to you, here's what you can do. The state of Florida is now among the top five most expensive states for homeowners insurance, according to websites that watch insurance trends. If you're getting hit with a rate increase, experts say don't cancel your policy and start shopping around quite yet. Brightway Insurance agent Matt Carlucci Jr. has this suggestion. Calling your agent and asking if you've had a wind mitigation inspection. If you haven't had one, you should probably get one. They normally cost between $50 and $60. But the discount you can get for having a wind mitigation could be somewhere in the neighborhood of $200, probably in the low end, and maybe as much as $1,000 per year on the high end. The inspection looks at how well your roof and other parts of the home can stand up to a storm. If you've already had a wind mitigation inspection, Carlucci suggests you call your agent and ask them if your insurance company is aware of the age of your roof. If it's ever been replaced, Carlucci says it's possible that the updated information wasn't relayed to your insurance company. Other suggestions include contacting the owner of the insurance agency. Most companies don't want to lose your business and you may be able to negotiate a lower rate. Experts say don't switch insurers if the increase is less than 50 percent because switching carriers right now is risky because of new insurance guidelines. Carlucci also recommends you speak directly with your agent to see if you have any other ways to reduce your premiums. He says Florida's home insurance environment is unstable right now and the grass isn't always greener on the other side. I would recommend if you're not being dropped, I would recommend that you try to find a way to stay with your current carrier because if you try and switch to a new carrier, let's say you save $1,000 by going from carrier A to carrier B. Now, carrier B is going to inspect your house, and there's a very good chance that they're going to make you make repairs in order to keep the policy. Another variable adding to the market's instability is Senate Bill 76, which would basically allow insurance companies to pay you the actual cash value of your old roof rather than the full replacement cost. Coming up tomorrow morning at 7.15 a.m., News for Jack's anchor Jennifer Waugh will speak with local insurance agent Sean Way about the potential impact of this new legislation and more on what you can do as a homeowner.